Good morning, good morning, another video, woohoo! So today I'm going to be using Lazarus from Nailkami. Everything I use will be in the description box below. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated, I just love this company. Um, Nailkami, an amazing company. Um, so now I'm just going to use Fright Night, um, which is in a 5ml bottle. It's one of their limited editions. Uh, I managed to get one and it's one of my favourite colours. Um, it shifts between blue and purple. And it's gorgeous, it's just absolutely beautiful. So here I am applying these to the thumb, middle finger and little finger. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to do cow nails, Christmas cow nails, because I feel like a cow this Christmas. 2020 has been a bit crap, so I thought I was going to take some inspiration from someone and use cow nails. Um, so here I am just applying the second coat of Fright Night and Lazarus. Uh, cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds and then we can crack on. So I'm going to use another of my favourite colours which is Omega. It's a magnetic polish and this is phenomenal. I cannot say enough how much I love this colour. Every Christmas this is one of my go-to colours. Um, it shifts um, between like a silver and a blue and it's also got a little tiny um, holographic particles in there you can see. Gorgeous! So now I'm going to take my red from my nail can be paints um, and my white and my black. Uh, this is in their new tubes. I managed to get the older, older tubs um, and I've had them for a long time. Uh, these are their new ones um, in the like pump bottles and the brilliant no mess and you just squeeze out as much as you need. Taking my gel art brush and my white paint and I'm going to create the outline of a cow. I got my inspiration from this girl on Instagram. She will be in my description box below because I cannot pronounce her name. I think she's either Russian, I'm not sure. Um, and I hope to God I haven't offended her. Um, so I'm just doing the outline of my cow. Uh, I'm taking my 10 mil liner brush, which again is a phenomenal brush. Never used it before, um, but I seem to get more control with this brush. I know that sounds strange considering it's a little bit more flexible, but I can't paint fine lines and this was helping me a lot. So I've gone from the middle finger to the thumb now and I'm just creating those uh, outlines on all of the, uh, the thumb, middle finger and... Uh, is it thumb and little? thumb, middle and little finger um, and I'm going to paint all the outlines on them. So now with my fine liner, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to do the muzzle of the cow, although bless it, it looks like a little bit of a pig, um, but I'm trying to look like a cow here. Um, so I'm doing the outline uh, in black and like I said, this brush is just phenomenal. It helped me paint really well and it was stable, it didn't move. Um, as able to create those nice crisp lines that I'm always looking for. So I did this on the thumb, middle finger and little finger again um, and I'm just doing the outline here and I'm also going in and doing this little um, nose bit. Uh, I don't know, snout, nose, whatever. I don't know what you call a horse. Uh, no, not a horse, a cow. I don't know what you call a cow's um, snouty bit. Oh, and also the outline of the hoofs uh, there are hooves um, depending on where you're from. So now I'm continuing that outline and I'm just going around the top of the head um, and just creating the outline and depth and dimension and also going in with some little splotchy splodge. They don't have to be uh, perfect or neat or anything. I don't believe a cow pattern is neat. Um, by the way, I said cow pattern, not cow pat. Um, and I'm just going in and making some little patterns there. And continuing that on after I've cured this, uh, just letting you know that uh, nail can be paints cure 60 seconds because uh, they're so highly pigmented so you need to cure these for uh, 60 seconds. You can flash cure and move on to your next bit but as long as you give your full cure um, that's fine. 
here I am just debating where I was going to put those little patterns. I kind of wanted it to flow and look like a cow and not like a pig, but hey. So here I am, although you can't really see very well, but you will be able to see in the end, I'm creating its horns. Um, I'm doing them in black. And now I'm going to go in and do their eyes. Now their eyes are comic styly eyes, um, so I just did little oval shapes and this brush, like I said, was helping it make it easy. So this, I'm going on to the uh, ring finger and the index finger and I'm taking the inspiration from the same creator and I saw these on Instagram as well. Again, all will be in the description box below. Um, so I'm going to do the outline of the back of the cow here. Um, so it's gonna look strange for a bit, but trust me and trust the process. So I'm back to the other nails um, and I'm creating their ears um, and they're just little teardrop shapes there and some highlights for his eyes. These are looking really cute, although the fact they look like pigs. It didn't occur to me whilst I was doing it until they actually looked like pigs and I was like, oh dear. Um, so I'm going on with a thumb here now and I'm just doing the same thing I've done and doing their ears and I'm doing the highlights for their eyes. creating a little bit more definition with the black there because uh, I seem to lose definition in his ears. So back to the ring finger and index finger and I'm doing the same process I did with the others and I'm just creating those splotches and those little markings that the cows have. And I'm going to create their ears as well the same time because the gel wasn't actually the black wasn't touching anything so I was able to do it at the same time and cure it all at the same time so I'm going to create their horns on the ones that are facing backwards again you can't really see this but once I've matted it you'll be able to see everything that I've done um, so I'm going to do the outlines of their uh, cows that are facing backwards and continue to make their markings I also gave them a tail, uh, which I believe I start doing now. Um, yeah, I started to do his tail. Um, in the original picture, I think because it was done on such a lighter colour background, it looked a little bit better and you were able to see the definition, whereas this is just giving that illusion. As you can see, um, I just created the illusion of the cows sitting down and facing forwards. So now to make it Christmassy, we're going to give it um, some a red hat, a red fluffy bobble hat. So I'm going in with my red artisan paints from Neil Kimmy, as I said before, um, and I'm just mapping out the outline and the... the um, the layer, first layer of the hat, basically. Um, and you want to kind of alternate the way the hat goes. So on some sides you change them, and on some side, on the other, you change the other side. Um, you kind of want to make them look a little bit different. And with the ones that were facing backwards, I believe I did lopsided, so they were sort of hanging to one side of their head. I then, flat, I then cured them for uh, 60 seconds and then apply the second layer and cured 60 seconds. I'm also now taking that white art as I'm paying and my dotting tool and creating the fluffy bits around the bottom of the hats and the top of the bobble. Um, so again, no neatness here, just do it with your dotting tool and it creates like a fluffy effect. And then I'm going to do it for all the others as well. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of black and my white and create a grey colour. I'm trying to create a little bit of shading so at the bottom of the rim of the hat you want to create a little bit of shading, just a little bit of texture really just to show. I know it's cartoon and I know it's a bit of fun but it's just to, so it's not just flat and doesn't blend into its face and everything. So 
so as you see there it was done so now I'm going to take my base coat and I'm going to float a lovely layer over the top of those nails and um, they're going to be slightly bumpy and slightly ridged um, and before curing I turn them upside down to level them out and then I put them in the lamp and cure them for 30 seconds now I'm going in with my velvet matte top coat and you can see there's no ridges or bubbles there um, so I'm going in with my velvet matte top coat my favorite is uh, velvet matte top coat from Nail Kami, uh, curing that for 30 seconds and that's them done. Now because they're matted you can see the shift in the colour especially on the thumb, it shifts between purple and blue, that's what I was trying to achieve. Anyway thank you very much for watching, please subscribe and like um, to see any more videos and remember everything's in the description box below. Take care guys, bye!